So actually an incredible relationship already between the two countries. 100,000 Ugandans living in the UAE, but for all of us here who haven't been to this beautiful part of East Africa, the Pearl of Africa, as we always hear, what do we need to know? What are the must-do tips when visiting Uganda? So the first thing is the expectations when visiting Uganda. When people go out to the UAE or other parts of the world, the weather plays a very important role in deciding which place you're going to go to next. Uganda is blessed with uh, tropical climate, which mm. has, well, the temperatures between 25 and 29 degrees year long. It's the best, best place in the world to be uh, <laughs> year long. Uh, also, they have, uh, like you mentioned, the, the Lake Victoria, the second largest lake. Uh, it also is the source of the Nile. So there's a lot of attractions around that. Uh, a lot of places where the equator meets the country, so people actually visit those places. Uh, Bwindi, the impenetrable forest as they call it, is home to the silverback gorillas, which is an absolute must do. Uh, it's a once in a lifetime experience and Uganda has some of the best viewings uh, or percentages of success when viewing these, uh, these beautiful creatures. Um, that is uh, that is a synopsis of, of okay. what there well, is. I'm going to ask you a quick thing. Now, obviously, the equator passes through uh, Uganda. Now, if anybody who's seen the natural history programs on TV and also the northern and southern hemisphere factor, it is actually true that if you're on the northern side of a particular of a road, you can actually open a bucket of water and the water will swirl one way and literally move two feet the other way or one meter the other way and the water goes down the hole of the plug the opposite way around. I'm not making that up, am I? It's <laughs> actually true. Yes, it is. It's that is incredible. exactly how it happens. And that's the reason why people go visit the equator so much. I mean, there's, there's honestly not much to see, but it's a beautiful <laughs> phenomenon. It is just stand there all day emptying buckets of water. <laughs> Sustainably, of course. Obviously, <laughs> reusing it again for your next try. Yeah, of course, also really a popular destination for the big five safari as well. Lots of animals there. What are some tips for people when choosing the type of safari tour they should be looking at? Because I know, uh, I think you've got a lot of elephants as well as gorillas. You've got buffalo, lions as well. Well, if I'm uh, if I'm not wrong, what are some tips that people need to be aware of? Because it's actually a very safe country, which uh, is one of the safest parts of Africa, I believe. Yes, but it is. What do we need to know? So obviously we have the tree climbing lions as well in parts of Uganda. We've got the big <laughs> that five. Sound very safe. <laughs> tree climbing lions. That's the first place I was going to go to. <laughs> so the, the lions actually get onto the trees because they've got ants uh, that they're not very fond of. Hence they're up in the trees. Uh, we've got a lot of hippo, rhinos, uh, elephants, yes, giraffes. Uh, the big five is there in plenty. I mean, so there's multiple different parks uh, that you can pick from. Uh, obviously, from the city center, uh, the, the duration that it takes to get to these parks is one of the things that people consider when they're taking a holiday there. How long does it normally take? So uh, the shortest distance would be about two, two and a half hours from the airport. Uh, and the longer distances would be six to seven hours of a drive or just a one hour flight uh, from the airport. So how long should people uh, put in their calendar? A week? Do you think a week is long enough? Three days? Too short? It, it really depends on what the people are looking, what's their objective. If they're looking to do the big five, you can actually do it within three or four days flat. Mm -hmm. But if you're actually looking to enjoy the experience that Uganda has to offer, doing cultural tours, meeting with the locals, seeing how things are actually done there, then I guess about 10 to 12 days would be a good time frame. And your waterfalls look incredible. I'd love oh, to yes. go up there. I'm They're talking beautiful. about um, beautiful things to see. Apparently one of the traditional dishes, one of the most favorite dishes, lo uh, is it locusts? Grasshoppers. 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 Have you tried one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Another one is, uh, is the Rolex, not, not the watch like you're wearing today, but it's apparently a, a chapati, I think, filled with meats and vegetables egg. and eggs. Yeah, egg. predominantly egg mm -hmm. uh, layered in a chapati and then uh, there's meat and vegetables that go into it. Maybe a safer option than the grasshoppers. I'd be game if you were. Uh, do you know what? I'll give anything, well, most things a go once, I think. <laughs> get we'll myself into that a trouble to the there. Test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've eaten delicacies all around the world and it is, uh, when I saw that, it's like, okay, I'll eat do it. where the locals eat. It's, it's apparently it's a delicacy. It's quite a compliment if yes, someone asks absolutely. you for them, don't they? Well, thank you very much.